Thanks, Walmart. Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for being with us today. I am very, very excited. Today, I wanted to do something uh, for you guys that I talked about in one of the hauls that we just posted. It is another skincare routine, and it is the Mario Badescu Brightening Regimen Kit. So this is what it looks like. I picked it up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty. It is a $38 kit, and normally I paid $26 for it, so I got a really good deal on it. And it comes with five different, um, skincare solutions, products, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they are essentially meant to work together cohesively to make your skin look brighter. Now, if you guys have watched any of our videos before, especially the skincare ones, you've heard me talk about how I have rosacea. You can see it in my cheeks, especially, and a lot of times around my eyes, I have dark spots. And then I do have like a little bit of acne going on on my chin right now, probably because my sleep cycle is so atrocious. I just get zero rest and my pimples are just like angry all the time. So I figured this would be a nice one to do for you guys. Um, it's really easy for me because normally with the skincare videos I go pick out different products that I would think work well together and it's already done for me here. So I'm just going to open the box. I have not opened it yet and I haven't looked at any of the products so I don't know what the size is, like anything about it other than what you guys saw me talking about on uh, the haul video. So this is what the inside of the kit looks like. Nice sizes for each one of them, I would say. So everything's supposed to be like a daily uh, treatment. And then this one is a whitening mask that you're supposed to do twice a week. So what we'll probably do is we'll start with the foaming cleanser and then we'll move into the mask. And then we'll do the cleansing lotion, which is like a toner. And then um, we'll do the serum. And I just want to double check with this little bonus guy. He's this itty bitty little jar up at the top. He is a glycolic skin renewal complex, but I don't know. It looks kind of like a mini eye cream. I don't know if it's a cream or if it's what it is meant to do, but what I'll probably do is since I'm using the serum and I don't want to mix them a whole bunch, I'm gonna probably just put it under my eyes because I feel like um, I'm always looking to brighten under my dark circles on my eyes. So I'll just use this little cream right there and we'll do the serum all over the face. So I think that's a pretty good strategy. We're gonna jump in because I don't think there's much else that I can do to explain this self-explanatory um so we're going in with the glycolic foaming cleanser but i've not used the glycolic foaming cleanser yet um it looks i actually kind of thought that it was like a liquid base um but it's actually like it's like a little gel so i like foaming cleansers i'm a big fan of it i like bubbles so and it smells nice it smells like a really clean sunscreen oh and it's foaming pretty nicely too I put it in a very awkward spot on my hand so I could show you guys and now like trying to get it onto my skin is proving to be uh, a feat. My chin is especially bad right now. I feel like every time I do it, I know last video, you could see like a clear difference between how my skin looked before we started doing the masks and how it looked after. Um, and my chin just seems to be where it's like highlighted the most normally. I think it's probably because when I'm like stressed, I grab my chin, and, like rub it, and then I'm always wearing makeup, so that doesn't help. So there's a lot of factors in there. The, the cup was just a terrible idea. That was just a not a winning, not a winning choice for me. It may or may not be in my eyeballs at the moment, and it may or may not be burning. So the one out of ten would not recommend. So, so I think I removed all the soap to the best of my ability. Um, there may be some still in my eyeballs, but you know, that's fine. Cool, it's actually, I mean, I don't know if you can really see a difference quite yet, but I do think it has made it a little bit, um, well, maybe a little brighter, I don't know. So we'll go ahead and move on into the whitening mask. Like I said, this little whitening mask is intended to be used uh, twice a week and it's a five to 10 minute mask. So it's a really quick mask. Um, overall, I'd say this was probably going to be a really quick skincare routine. It's not gonna be one that's gonna take you like all day or even an hour. It'll be like probably done within 20 minutes is what I would say at the very, very latest. And this is a nice mask. It smells really nice. Kind of has like this apple-y like citrus fruit smell to it. And it's thick. It like, almost looks like white out. <laughs> I'm whiting out all my imperfections. <laughs> Fix me. Plot twist, it's just like a nice smelling white out. It actually smells really nice though. Like I know why it's most delicious. I'm a fan of this. Um, and depending on how it works, I may buy a full size one because I really am just digging the smell so, so much. Okay, 
I did choose to do it on top of my eyelids as well because my eyelids are always very discolored. It's pretty thick. It's not a really runny mask, which I'm a fan of. I don't like it when masks are like super watery and then they like run down your face until they start to dry. So it's like all in my hair though. <laughs> And I can feel it like as it sits on longer, it's starting to harden just a little bit. Um, so I don't know. It, I feel like it has some sort of clay base to it, um, but not as it's not like a full clay mask and that's very apparent. Yeah, I'm gonna let this hang out on my face for probably 10 or so minutes and then I will wash it off and then we'll go ahead and move on to the final steps of this, the uh, skincare routine and see how it looks afterwards. Be right back. So I took off the mask. Um, and then I just like started talking about, I found out who was playing the halftime show and I was a little bit disappointed. So, so yeah, uh, I have gone ahead and put the toner on this little, uh, pad right here and I'm just going to, it's not a toner, it's a cleansing lotion, but we all know what it is. I'm going to go ahead and just apply it all over, apply it all over. And I typically, instead of using a cotton pad, I normally use one of the little, or instead of using a cotton ball, I use one of the little cotton pads that has like the little, um, prickles in it. So that way you can kind of get in and exfoliate with the cleansing gel as well. Really try and open up your pores and get them inside. This one is, um, it's not particularly harsh in terms of feel. It doesn't sting at all. Um, so I would assume it's probably not alcohol based. Uh, the mask itself, the whitening mask actually did kind of tingle a little bit as it was drying down. Um, but it wasn't a bad feeling and it wasn't an unsettling feeling, anything like that. I just could kind of notice it. And that might have been partially it hardening as well because I know a lot of times when um, when products harden on your skin, you kind of feel that kind of tingly sensation. This is kind of, this is what I would call like a, a lightweight toner or, I mean, they call it a cleansing lotion. So perhaps it's not really a toner at all, but that's what it reminds me of. And the smell is very, um, considering how good the mask smell, this is actually more of like a chemically smell. Um, and it says it's a grapefruit cleansing lotion. Grapefruit is really, it has a lot of healing properties in it. So it doesn't surprise me that they would use it for uh, skincare. All right, I just like rambled my way through that. But okay, cool, so it is all applied. I'm gonna let it kind of dry down for just a second. And then as soon as it dries down, we'll go ahead and move on to the last two, which would be the vitamin C serum. And that is supposed to restore youthful luminosity to your skin while also delivering antioxidants. So it has uh, a lot of kind of what I would call healing properties in it that are going to go in there and fix all your good stuff. And this just has nothing, there no nothing. This is just a sample. So I don't know if I'm gonna even use it right. But um, I am gonna go ahead and apply this little guy. I'm just gonna put like a teeny tiny little bit, like there's just a little bit in the cap. Um, and that's what it looks like inside the jar. But I'm just gonna take like just a teeny tiny tip on the tip of my finger here and I'm just gonna put it under my eyes. And I think that'll probably be a, a good use for it while I don't really know uh, what to do with it. I'm always excited to see on film like how my skin looks at the end. Really, the last the last time we did a skincare video, the one where I used the Pure Times Barbie face mask, that was the best I've seen of an improvement in one of the skincare videos. And um, we haven't done a terribly or a terribly large amount of these videos. Um, I think we've done three so far. This will be number four. But that was by far the, the one that I watched and I said, oh yeah, you can definitely see that there's a huge improvement from what my skin started at to where my skin ended for that video. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to see like a pretty nice little change in this one. I think all the toners dried down and I think uh, my little under eye cream is kind of drying down as well. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the serum in my main areas that you guys know I always do. And I'm just gonna rub it in with my hands. This, the feeling of it, I know it's vitamin C, um, but because it's like a liquid serum, it reminds me of my mother. Uh, I've talked about it in videos in the past. I don't know how the videos will post, but in my Epsom salt video, if it hasn't posted yet, I talk about my mom and the holistic stuff she does um, for skincare and for, for medicine, medicinal purposes, things like that. And one of the things that she swears by is argan oil. So I have a really big jar of argan oil that she gave me one Christmas. Um, and a lot of times, especially like with makeup products, if they dry down, like pomades for eyebrows and stuff, I'll put a drop in there just because I know it won't affect the formula really, but it'll help wet it down in still like a natural way that isn't water and make it easier to apply. But I also like to put the argan oil on my face and this is very reminiscent of that. Same little eyedropper consistent or application process and the consistency of the liquid itself is very similar. So right now, I mean, there's still redness, but unfortunately once I really get in there and like work on my skin, it's always gonna have that rosacea because I've just 
shock the crap out of it and then as it like calms down and it starts to mellow out and then the product starts to seep in that's normally when I can see the real difference so yes there's a little bit of redness but um overall do I think my skin looks brighter I just rubbed a serum on it that makes it look dewy so yes it does look brighter I also I'm very aware that this is intended to be like a continuous skincare regimen this is not supposed to be like a, oh I'm gonna do one time fix it and it's gonna look really different. This is meant to be done every single day and then the mask two to three times a week. Obviously, I'm not gonna see huge results until I begin using it every single day and then I can kind of look at it after a week or two and see. Um, but overall, I really like Mario Badascu and I really like his products. All of these products I enjoyed using. Um, they all smelled nice, felt nice, that kind of good stuff. Um, the cleanser, I was a big fan of. And honestly, the whitening mask, I was also a big fan of. So yeah, if you guys are looking for a decent skincare company, I would recommend trying Mario Badascu's products because I have yet to be disappointed by them. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are not subscribed to our page, please do so. So if you don't mind subscribing, I would really, really appreciate it. As always, I love you guys with all my heart. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with the dark twist.